Some rules for differentiation. Find the value of the derivative of the function at the indicated point. Uh, let's do example 27 first. That's f of x is equal to 1 over x at the point 1, 1. Let's take a look here. So, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to write this in a different form. Uh, one that we might be more comfortable with. So f of x is equal to, uh, and now 1 over x is just x to the minus 1 power. So we're going to write x to the minus 1 power. And now um, we can apply the, the power rule here. So the power rule would make it so that f prime of x uh, would be equal to what this exponent is here, bring that down, so minus 1 times x, and this is going to be minus 1, minus 1, or minus x squared. So now that we know what the derivative is, we can find what the slope is, or the value of the derivative function at that point. So the point we're evaluating is 1 comma 1. So f prime of 1 is equal to, and we just plug 1 in here, minus 1. Now let's do another example. Let's do um, 30 from that page. That was y is equal to 3x, parentheses, x squared, minus 2 over x, at the point 2 comma 18. So, same as we did up here, let's just simplify it and write it in a form we're more comfortable with. y is equal to, and we can just distribute this 3x out, so 3x cubed minus 3 times 2 is 6, x divided by x is 1, so minus 6. So now we need to take the derivative, y prime is equal to, we're going to apply the power rule again. So this 3 comes down, multiplied, that becomes a 9. And this is x squared. And the derivative of a constant is 0. So it's just 9x squared. So if we plug in this indicated point, x, x2 and y18, into this function to find the slope, we will find that y prime of 2 is equal to 2 squared is 4, 4 times 9 is 36, 36 at 2 comma 18.